Keyers are obviously among the more important resources in a production switcher, so let's talk a little bit about what we can do with Keyers in uh, the Carrera. Well, let's just look at one mix effects bank. That sort of narrows things down and makes it that much more understandable, I think. I'm looking at program preset on my main monitor right now, and you can see that I have six keys on air simultaneously. Well, that lines up exactly with what we've expected so far in terms of next key control. I also have the Keyer transition buttons within the mix effects bank. And further to that, to make things really manageable, we've also added what we call horizontal key control. Let's talk about what the keyers are before I go too far here. The last two keyers in every mix effects bank, keyers five and key six, are the ones that our graphics producers like the best. They don't have anything like drop shadow. They don't have the ability to use DVE effects. And that's good because the price that we pay for our graphics these days is so high that the ability to guarantee they look right on air is a saleable item within itself. So having said that, I'm going to fade them away. And I'm going to get my horizontal key control program, key 5 auto, key 6 auto. Now we're looking at just the first four. The first four keyers in every mix effects bank have some special attributes. They can make any kind of key, linear, luminance, chroma and pattern. The good news about chroma keys within the Carrera is that they float. They're not assigned to any particular keyer in any particular mix effects bank. They're available until you run out of chroma keyers. And that's the same kind of story with our IDPMs. IDPMs being the DPMs that sit inside keyers. Now DPMs in Grass Valley speak means digital picture manipulator, um, <laughs> or internal in this case. And which is our word for DVE or, uh, or other terms. You're absolutely right, Rick. Yeah, I keep forgetting that myself, that uh, the Grass Valley term for a DVE is DPM. And while we're talking about them, let's look at the blue-edged picture up on my screen. That's key one. And it's inside a DVE, a DPM. How quickly can I get it in and out? Well, like this. Program, key one, and here's the DPM enable button. You'll see that it's now dropping quite quickly in and out of the DPMs a function. These are full function DPMs. You'll notice that I've got borders, glows, ripples, lighting, all running within them. The lovely thing about them again, just like chroma key, they float. So that no matter how many or how few I have within my, my system, until I try to use one too many, everything works. Let's look at uh, key two, which is the word Carrera with the glow on it at the top there. Typically what happens, I think, in our systems is that we run out of graphic generators. It doesn't matter how hard you try, you always need one more. And if that Carrera word were merely a logo that stayed up throughout the whole show, why would I burn a character generator? Why would I burn a still store just to provide something that doesn't move? Well, inside my keyer menus is an area called key store. And each of these first four keyers in my full mix effects banks has not only the ability to make keys from live video, but also from two pages of key and video store. So when I go live, you'll notice that what my character generator is actually making is the words, well, I'm guessing it says Grass Valley, but I'm afraid I've put key one in front of them. But when I go back to my key store, you see that that was in fact something I grabbed a lot earlier. So all in all, I've got quite a powerful keying system within one mix effects bank. Six keyers, we looked at FlexiKey, We've spoken about double take. This horizontal key control area allows me to control multiple keys across multiple mix effects banks very, very simply. And of course, those floating chroma keys, floating IDPMs just round the power of the mix effects bank out beautifully.